Do you want to hear my song today? I sing a new song every Friday. Wouldn't it be nice if we sang all our words? If we lived in a musical, wouldn't that be nice? What? Are we live? Oh, <laughs> what's up, y'all? You are watching YouTube Live with Toya and Bella and Bowie. Bowie. Can, can you see Bowie? Can they, can they see Bowie? Let me check. Check. I can't tell. Okay, yay! Bowie! So today we are trying on some puppy outfits. Well, we're not trying them on. Bowie is trying them on. The thumbnail looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. The Thank thumbnail you. looks amazing. He was so good. Like, he, he posed for all those. But that kind of gives away the fact that we've... We just said it, though. No. You turn off the volume. <laughs> Okay, so Bowie is trying on these outfits, which we're going to pretend like it was the first time, but it's not because there's a thumbnail out there. Anyway, Bowie is a Chinese crested. He has like some hair issues, so he doesn't grow any hair on his neck. It's like completely bald. He has sporadic hair on his face. It's really thin, really thin hair on his body, almost nothing on his belly. So we kind of give him the traditional Chinese crested haircut, which is a bald face, clean up the neck so he has a mullet bald body and then he has feathers on his feet and his tail i'm working on trying to get those ears trimmed give me some time it's very very difficult to trim the ears but he gets cold yes because he has like no hair and we shave off the hair that he does have so we have to get him some clothes because winter's coming and here in georgia it's starting to get pretty cold in the winters i mean in the mornings it's pretty cold in the mornings so we got him some outfits I found these on Amazon um this one is by a company called I had this all rehearsed they're right just just do it and now I forgot everything <laughs> okay. just do it <laughs> these are from this one is from a company called pet style okay, can you see that pet style and it's a cute little striped onesie now I know unless you know about dog onesies how do you put a onesie on a dog like they have to use the bathroom well, there is this lovely open area to allow the dog to relieve themselves at the appropriate time. So there's that. And then the other outfits that we have are these two cute little outfits. And these are by a company called Cute Bone. Can you see that? I wish there wasn't such a huge delay because I can't tell if this is like clear. Oh, there we go. Here we go. It's like that. It eventually caught up. All right, Cute Bone is this company. And these are actually a little fuzzy. So this one from Pet Style, it's a little striped onesie. Feels like a thick t-shirt material. These feel like a micro mink. It's like a really thin, thin, fuzzy fur. It feels great. Not so great on Bowie though. Like his side is just plain. Our side's all soft. So I don't know who that benefits. Uh, of course. Or Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so before this you... This is all for human consumption. Well, he's cold. I'm trying to help him out. We could just let his grow his hair out, but no, we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut him. He has sporadic hair loss in places. <laughs> we're trying to... He has, like, a whole... His entire backside could be covered in hair. But it's, like, fluffy, furry, thin yeah, hair. Yeah, so we cut it. So you know we what? With him. I got a Chinese crested for a reason. He's gonna look like a Chinese crested. Okay? <laughs> Not crazy at all. What's up, Caroline? How you doing? Okay, so before you go and buy your puppy a onesie or your dog a onesie, make sure you get a measuring tape and to get their measurements. So Bowie is like super calm right now, but you know, know. what are you doing? This is literally a day where he has to try on clothes, man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so here he is, and you're gonna use your tape measure and measure. Sorry, that was noisy. Measure around his neck and that will get his neck measurement. And then you're gonna want to measure from the bottom of his neck, like right between his wet withers, to the base of his tail, or the start of his tail. And then that is his back measurement. <laughs> then you're going to measure his girth. And if you horse people out there understand, you know, it's like pretty much around his rib cage. And that is a measurement. And then you just go online and you find his appropriate size. Do not think that just because he's a medium with one company that he's a medium with all companies because that's not the case. They change. With pet styles, he's a large. With cute bone, he's a medium. Okay, 
Bowie, you're showing everybody your business. Here we go. Let's try on the pet styles one first because this is literally my favorite. Oh, I tried that one on last because we'll keep him in that one. He's like, why is the table so slippery when he's slipping in and he's sitting down? <laughs> so here is, we're going to do cute bone first. Let me show you his collar off. Yeah, we're going to do cute bone first. This little onesie is all white and it has cats on it. It has little black and little white cats on it. And I thought this was so cute and ironic. So we're going to put this one on. But we're trying on clothes and he's, of course, going to be biting me. You can start answering questions. You ready to do this, Bowie? All right, here we go. Over the face. And then put one arm in. And if I talk like this, hopefully you won't bite me. Are you going to answer questions? Yeah. So okay. <laughs> he is biting me. Someone said, someone said, do you like your dog? How do you feel like? I love my dog. He just licked my face. But <laughs> I absolutely love Bowie. He is like, um... He's so cute. He's so cute, and because he's so cute, you forgive him you forget for all everything the, else. All the little awful things. You know, that he I does. saw this thing. It was a TikTok, so this is probably not like scientifically correct. But this person talking about how, like, when you see like a pretty thing or pretty person, you kind of like you don't really care about the flaws because you like looking at it. That definitely is true. <laughs> We forgive him because he's adorable. He pees on the floor. He poops on the stairs. That, how do you poop on the stairs? Like I, He was... bites us everywhere. And we're like, you know, it doesn't matter because you're so cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute, here he is in his first outfit. So this is a little black and white cat jumpsuit. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> he's like the table slippery. So here he is in his cute little onesie. It totally looks like it covers everything up. But all this down here is left open. And uh, yeah, nice and soft and warm. What's up to Arabella? How you doing? You're the best, Sophia. So this is the first outfit. This little fashion show is going to go by fairly quickly because I only got three outfits. <laughs> <laughs> What's up to You So Unique Dolls? No, You So Unique Loves Dolls. What's up? Someone said, who is your favorite member of BTS? Who's, Who's your favorite, favorite member? I don't have a favorite member. You kind of need them all to yeah, have BTS. Yeah, yeah, you do. My favorite, though. <laughs> but I do love all of them. But Jungkook and V or Taehyung. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Shout out to Haley Summer. What's up? Someone said, what other music do you listen to? You relax. What other what? what music do you listen to? <laughs> I only listen to show tunes. No, I've been listening what to music David Bowie. What, okay, so what music do you think would describe the other person's personality? Oh, good question. Okay, your music is like, um, like eclectic type of music that no one can actually dance to. What are and you it's, talking about? The beat is never <laughs> constant. It's all very erratic. And one moment it's like all calm and easygoing, and then the next moment there's like rock. She's talking about electronic <laughs> because I listen to it. I've gotten into electronic, and it's really good stuff. And we have our workout routine. A part of it is dancing to like the whole time to two songs. And I picked a song. It was like four minutes. <laughs> And it was an electronic song, but it was really slow until, you know how electronic songs are. They're slow, and then they have, like, the fast part, and then they're slow again, and then the fast part, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's her. There we go. Electronic. Uh, the, the songs, or genre, that I think describes Okay, what you. genre of Honestly, music describes me? I think K-pop. Am I a K-pop and, and But not just, like, the, like, the cute K-pop songs. Like, the cute and happy ones. Like, twice. And oh my girl, and uh, boy with love, man. And yeah, boy with love and go like, go. Like my theme song. Yeah, <laughs> dynamite. The cute ones. The dynamite. Cute, the cute, colorful ones. Yeah. Speaking of cute, the ones colorful. That if, you, if you play them for too long, you get sick of them. You messed but, up my segue. <laughs> <laughs> Just insult me, okay? <laughs> Speaking of cute and colorful, here is an all black onesie with skulls. Because ah! that, you see how that was. Okay, sarcasm. All right, what's up, Willow? How you doing? How is he doing on the right? Who's on the right? How is who doing on the right? Okay, we're going to try this one on next. So there's that. While I'm preoccupied, you. What's your favorite craft you, you've done? 
Also, have you ever been to the Georgia Aquarium? And did you like it? Been to the Georgia Aquarium so many times. I've been to the times. Georgia Aquarium so many times, I never need to go again. <laughs> we used to have a season pass. And, um, well, we've had a season pass to everywhere. <laughs> like, I swear, we go to a museum like one time and... Or like we go to museum one time and you're like yeah we'll get season pass no we would go never like, go again we would go twice and I made sure we always went at least twice so I got my money's worth I'm like well you know kids it's Christmas day <laughs> year's almost over we're going to this aquarium to use that season pass <laughs> we had a season pass to Six Flags like every time we went to Six Flags you get a season pass and then I was like and then just... you didn't go again until the next year <laughs> <laughs> come on because Bowie. season passes in Six Flags are cheaper than getting. Individual tickets. It, it was, which didn't make any sense to me, but that's that was the one. And then we all we get the flash pass too, so we don't have to wait in line. Hold his face so he doesn't like do a face plant on the table, because that would be bad. Okay, when is the next summer in Cali coming out? Uh, good question. I have. See, he's biting me. You're, you're not doing me. your job. <laughs> I am. Stop. I stop. haven't even started. No, stop it. The script yet. I'm. I'm not even joking. I plan on it. I want to. I have to get it out before the end of the month, and the end of the month is approaching quickly. What is Halloween? Thirty first. Yeah. When when do I actually run out of time for oh, this month? Is it my friend's birthday. I don't know. What day is Halloween? Do I have time? Is that? Do I have one more Saturday after tomorrow? Do I have one more? I'm looking in the comments. Someone check the uh, their calendar and find out if I have another Saturday after tomorrow. Someone said, does he get on your nerves? And what is your biggest accomplishment? Yes, he gets on our nerves. <laughs> and he poops on the stairs <laughs> and pees in my room. And you put my you put him in my room, he hates my room. And I put him in there and he starts screaming. Screaming like I kidnapped him and I'm torturing him. Like, that's how he screams. And when I tell you, like, you know how goats scream? Goats scream like people. Like, you think, oh my <laughs> I did god. I in a video. Who's once. getting murdered? It's a goat. Though. How did it go? Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bowie screams like a person. Like an actual living person and then spit just comes flying out of his mouth and it's awful. <laughs> we alone. Okay, so here is the black and white onesie that he's This is my favorite. Modeling This for is you. my favorite. I actually told her to get the skulls. Because this is totally his personality. It, oh, it yeah, totally this matches. is totally it. Um, There's a TikTok song that's like, it's like money something drunk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Giselle, that's not nice. What? Okay, what do, you <laughs> do you like Star Wars? I do love Star Wars, and I've I've just started watching The Mandalorian again for the second time because season two is coming out. I like original Star Wars better than new Star Wars. You, like, this is from the girl who hasn't watched The Mandalorian. No, because I haven't just. Well, I haven't really just made myself go and even watch the last the last Star Wars. The last, you didn't watch did the I? last one? I didn't watch that one either. But I I do kind of like the older ones better, but I like the diversity of the new ones. Was that one better. called The Last Jedi or was that The Rise of Skywalker? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember which but one. If but the old, if the older ones had more diversity, I'd be like, yeah, 100% like the old ones. Well, we had Lando Carizian, man. There's one person. <laughs> okay. We don't know what Boba Fett looked like. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Okay, shout out to Jalen. What's up? Someone said Bowie would be like, let me out of here. <laughs> yeah, Bowie, he's like a little kid. He's a little baby. When's Bowie's course... birthday? It's every Thursday. <laughs> every Thursday is, is his birthday because he's, you know, not even a year old yet, so he gets a birthday every week. And the, yes, that is true. We don't do anything. We just tell him happy birthday. Even he can't speak English, so. Is anyone going to tell me, do we have another Saturday? In this month just look at your calendar <laughs> all right you want me to look real fast <laughs> yeah look real fast what's up nicola i think i said that wrong what's up that's my earring what's up to lana's world how you doing what's up Haley? how you doing what's up bumblebee we okay. have the last saturday is the 31st so i can get a summer cali out on the 31st if you can if i can write it and get it filmed by tuesday we can get a summer in cali out on Halloween. So, so what is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment? And what is your favorite thing to talk about? Like if you could like have a podcast and like what would you dolls. talk about? Really? Yes. Yes. But I would talk about dolls. My biggest accomplishment? You. You and your brother are my biggest accomplishments. <laughs> my babies. <laughs> Such a mom <laughs> answer. <laughs> what about you? What's your biggest accom accomplishment in your my biggest in your fifteen years of life? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember ten years ago. So, um, my biggest accomplishment. Yes, I guess I'm not. I think 
I pride myself on like not being that basic teenager. I think that's a pretty big accomplishment. Okay, so yeah. you, you think not, you're not basic. Yeah, I think I'm. You think you're not basic. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like a pretty smart person. So I think that's my biggest too. accomplishment. Okay, now this is the last onesie that we're trying on today. This one is a size large. It's a little looser than those, but it's a lot lighter uh, and lightweight, and it's not incredibly cold today, so I think this is a good one for them. This is by Pet Styles, and it was only like $10, which is like $10.99, which I think is a pretty decent price. Definitely easy to get on, because y'all are looking for pet reviews. <laughs> Does Bo have a YouTube channel? He is not a human, so he can't really operate a YouTube channel. He this, lacks the mental capacity to use the bathroom on his own, so. This is Bowie's YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> so it is so much work to have multiple channels. And I don't really understand why you need a different channel for everything, because channels have different series. Yeah, it's like a TV channel. Like, HBO has, like, a million different shows. Yeah, you know? And so Big we have... owns, like, a ton of other labels that we didn't know about. Exactly. Like... So what I do is I just create a lot of different series on my YouTube channel. I have, uh... We have some that come and go. So we have like Fab Some Horses, which comes and goes whenever people cooperate to film. And then we have things like Summer in Cali, we have Darby Show, we have the DIYs, we have Versus, we have um, Top 10, which I haven't done in a minute, but I'm totally about to do. We have a holiday haul coming up. So we have a lot of different series on our channel and Bowie is just literally a part of all of that. Someone goes, it's next Saturday. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Okay, so do you have any superstitions? Superstition? No, I do not have superstitions. None. No, I kind of believe in karma. Okay, a little bit. And reincarnation should be cool. Like I don't know if I believe in that, but why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we have our very last outfit here. All right. It says, are you going to try on Bowie clothes? We are trying on Bowie clothes. Yeah. So this is the last one. It is a striped onesie. It is black and gray and white, and it is probably my favorite look on him. You like the skull and crossbones, whatever. I do love this one. But I absolutely love this one because it's nice and light. And uh, Charles says we have nine days to the 31st. So I have time. I have time to get that summer in Cali done, but I have to get it done by Tuesday or it's just not going to go out because that's what happens. Okay. When will the next Darby Show episode be out? Darby Show ended last year. Summer in Cali is our new doll show. So I said, what is the label that usually gets like, I guess, put on you? Or what do you, some, what is something you usually get labeled as? Okay. You tired? Me? What I get labeled as? Yeah. Um, I get labeled as a children's channel. Technically not a children's channel. I'm an adult who enjoys toys, but that often happens. And I'm child safe. I'm definitely okay for kids, you know, but I am not a children's. I'm an adult who loves toys. So that's a little thing, but I try not to like argue about it too much and explain, you know, and yell at people about it. But that's I'm one thing. digging in the pillows. What about you? Uh, I mean, I'm only like 15, so I have no experience like with anything, but, um, you know, like, I, I think it's most just a thing about, like, you know, kids, but if you do anything, like, that is, might pertain to, like, a certain group, like, wear all black or have a hydro flask or <laughs> anything pertaining to that matter, and they'll leave you as, like, oh, you're goth or, or you're a visco girl or, or you're, like, in, you're a e-girl or, you know, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I have a hydro flask, I've had one since sixth grade. Before the whole Visco girl thing, what's well, a and good? And I went to ninth grade, and it's, everybody was like, "You're such a Visco girl. You're such a Visco, like." It's a good cup. It stays insulated. It, it insulates and in no condensation. So, <laughs> so, what do you want me to do? So there's that. Um, it says, "How old is Bowie?" <sighs> Don't remember. I think it's like 15 weeks. I thought it was 14. Was he? No, he was. He, <laughs> <laughs> what? So messy. This was a bad idea. Uh, I think he's like 15 or possibly 16 weeks. I have to double check. Uh, Halloween is Saturday. Thank you, Phoebe. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try to get that out. Is Bowie sassy? Uh, he's more like a brat. <laughs> like I would definitely describe him as like a spoiled, spoiled rotten brat. No, I just think he's like your typical toddler who's just running, running, going, getting I feel into like he's everything. Worse than a toddler because oh, of me at least, he's always pointing. <laughs> You don't remember toddlers. <laughs> I'm just sorry. All the toddlers out there, we love you. 
<laughs> but he's very much like a toddler uh, to me. Uh, next question is, is we don't have another Saturday. Yes, we do. We have one more Saturday, right? It's confirmed. Next Saturday is yeah, still so, October. So, so, so we will try to get out by that Saturday. Yes, gaming with Elise says I have one more Saturday. Okay, so I will do my best. What is your favorite to get store to shop at? I guess for adults. My favorite store to shop at for adults? Dolls. Oh, for dolls. Well, my favorite was Toys R Us. So, we saw how that went. When we lived in Kansas, we lived right by Toys R Us. Yes, and I was there every single day. But now, I'm pretty much like, I go to Target because it's close by. I go to Walmart sometimes. Just getting in and out of the parking lot is a little bit of a challenge. But uh, mainly Target, and right now, Amazon. Like, I Amazon as much as I possibly can. Shout out to Gaming with Elise. What's up? I like to... Well, I would say, oh yeah, I like to buy our supplies, but I don't need our supplies. I use like mechanical pencils and <laughs> and like note cards and a tablet. So, but I do like going into art stores, even though I don't know how to use any of the stuff. Like, there's an art store by Ponce City Market here, and uh, it's like really, really, really cool. Like. That super cool. Incredibly expensive. It's so expensive. Art you know, art supplies are actually like super expensive. I actually didn't know this until I started researching people that went to like art schools and stuff. And it is incredibly expensive. Like how I'm sure you it have is. to pay for if you go to art schools, you have to pay for your books and art supplies and boarding or not boarding, like but you know what? It's, and everything. You buy what you can afford. I've been an artist my whole life. In college, I literally painted murals in people's houses Man, to I'm make going money. To Michael's and buying acrylic paint. And I used a paintbrush from Home Depot that was two dollars, because that's how much I had because I was so poor in college and I used that to paint entire murals. One paintbrush for the entire mural. Don't even ask how I did it. You are scratching me! <laughs> and so, you know, it, it really has to do with what you're willing to spend. Yes, the better the tools does make the job easier, but I believe that if you want to, you can work with almost anything. That's I'm just, just so me. glad that I'm do digital because literally if I need a new brush, I can just go into like the community pages of Clip Studio or Procreate and just download a free one. But let's not forget that digital is very expensive because I had to buy the tablet. Oh yeah, the startup cost buy the pens. is... I would say the startup cost is probably more for digital than like the over, like, the over time. Even with art supplies and buying canvases and stuff, like having to buy canvases and paints and art and like that type of thing, you no. know, and then like other stuff like gold leaves and whatever and oils and things. <laughs> it does add up. Um, it says, did you buy the new Monster High Pennywise doll? Yes, I did. Today I set my timer. I filled out all my information before the thing went live. I thought everything like last night and I set my timer. I was ready to go 10 minutes before and I just kept hitting refresh. Every five seconds for 10 minutes, I sat there, refresh, 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 refresh. You are destroying my legs. And <laughs> I got both. I got the Pennywise and the two, the twins from The Shining. So I did order those this morning. So very happy that I was crazy about getting on there and incredibly lucky apparently because they sold out fairly fast. So even if you were like there on time and everything, there's a chance you had it in your cart and it didn't you didn't weren't able to buy it no, they BTS sold out like that, like that right? it was literally like buying concert tickets so if you've ever bought concert tickets to like a crazy show like bts or jonas brothers same feeling those monster high dolls i was so nervous i was like refresh 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 nobody talk to me refresh 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 and then uh i got it and i was like screaming and happy Jeez, the comments what so uh please shout out fingers crossed to adora olsen what's Someone said, what is the funniest thing that someone has said to you and pertains to, like, YouTube? Funniest thing someone said to me? I guess, like, a fan or someone else. The other YouTuber, I don't know. Why are you attacking me? I only want to love you. <laughs> he's like, you're putting claws on me. I'm not human. Let's keep this on him now because it's super cute. Isn't it cute? But he's literally snarling and it's destroying me. There's no more cookies. That's what he's looking for. Uh, you can't give him another one. He <laughs> just make him stop. <laughs> There we go. Rewarding, rewarding bad, bad behavior. behavior. <laughs> Mother of the year. Okay, um, does Bowie like peanut butter? I don't know. We are a peanut butter free house. We have peanut butter, peanut butter allergies, so we don't bring peanut butter into the house. Sorry, Bowie. Um, what was your question? What was your question? Funny someone said to you between YouTube. I don't know. You That's know? like so... Like, I don't, I can, no, I have no idea what's the funniest thing someone said to me pertaining to YouTube. Do you? 
Yeah. What? My friend the other day told me that she's the person who spams her comments on their lives. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're out there. <laughs> but like, <laughs> if you keep seeing the same comment pop up, up and over, uh, up, up, over and over and over again, it's like her. <laughs> oh, well, you can try different stuff, you know? It says, why don't we see a little froggy? This was little froggy. She's now bigger. <laughs> she grew up. a baby. He is... He's like a three-month-old uh, puppy, but I don't think he's... I don't know how much bigger he's going to get. I mean, Hopefully not much bigger, because we can't even handle him with this size. These The average weight for the Chinese crested, according to my very, really fast web search, was seven pounds. So, uh, about-ish. So that's... And right now, he's at five pounds. Or more, because that was like two weeks ago when I had him weighed. Why? Why? Okay. Um, what's the next question? It says, I remember when Bella was 10. I know, right? I don't remember being 10. I remember when she was three, singing the intro to the Darby show, back before we were even my froggy stuff. Someone said, I'm get they're getting a golden doodle soon. Do you have any tips? Every dog is different, so anything we did for our dog is probably not going to be the same. But I will tell you, we, people, okay, if people will tell you, like, if you get a purebred, even golden doodles aren't purebred, but at this point, they're specialty dogs. If you get a purebred or a dog with specialty bread, they're going to be a little crazy. <laughs> and they're not lying, okay? That's a fact. He's insane. <laughs> I, I mean, our past dogs have been a little easier to train than this one. A lot easier because they've been mutts. <laughs> but Bowie, he, you know, some days he, he picks it up and he'll do it for like, you know, like sit, stay and all that for like a whole week. And then one day he'll be like, you know what? I don't feel like listening to you no more and I'm not going to do it. But I'm taking that as just puppy syndrome. So no. we'll wait and see. We've got like a good year and a half until we get the Bowie that we're going to get. <laughs> who hopefully bites less. So, yeah. Um, are you ever going to do a makeover dollhouse video? I, I do them. I just haven't done one lately. Because um, as we mentioned last week, I do have a surgery coming up. And I will be uh, in recovery for four to six weeks. I'm really hoping it's just like four weeks. I'm hoping I have like fantastic recovery and I'm just like, oh, this is a piece of cake, blah, 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 I'm back. But while we're gone, I want the videos to continue. So I've been trying my best to get a whole bunch of videos shot so that the channel continues while I am re in recovery. And um, I haven't been able to do a lot of big projects because of that. So um, that's just where we are right now. So I'm doing the best I can to get the videos in the hole because I gotta take care of myself. Um, why what did is you? The, what is the biggest? What is one of the most useful skills you've learned doing YouTube? Most useful skills doing YouTube is consistency. Be consistent. Still haven't learned that one. <laughs> and and that's it. Follow through is like the number one thing. You say you're gonna do something, try to do it. And I know I'm bad about doing part twos. I do know that, but I keep getting a video out. <laughs> so there's that mine is probably knowing how to not be camera shy and like just knowing how to camera comes on just talk you could just i can talk for hours by myself in a room with the camera like hours <laughs> i could talk for so long it's like a skill and like really annoying at the same time because i can <laughs> ramble it's okay you learn to talk to yourself um and once what is a what is a doll that i recommend um, wow, that's an interesting question. So I can tell you what my favorite dolls are. So every doll has their ups and their downs, their negatives and their positives. One, the doll line that has been very, has performed for me over the years the way I want it to, because I do doll shows, um, like, you know, the doll videos, is uh, Barbie, the made to move Barbie is my favorite. I do swap out the head sometimes. I really like the Integrity Toy Head, but I do like the Barbies Made to Move Body. Uh, when it comes to model horses, Briar all day long. I love, love, love Briar horses, even if they aren't 100% to scale. Um, I started using the stable mates in my home decor, which I think is amazing, and you can see that on my Instagram. So that's what I would say. And then as far as pets go, I've been finding random pets on Amazon, like the Hibon, Hib, Hibon, brand and stuff like that so those are what i tend to do shout out to kiera what's up love you too malik how you doing bowie looks like he's finally calming down you gave him his collar to yeah. chew on mm -hmm. and i reward bad behavior you teach bad habits yeah but it's not like his 
food or nothing. <laughs> What's up to Ella and Tilly? How you doing? Have you made an attic for the dolls? I have, I don't know if I've, I did attic scenes like setups and Darby shows. We made, we did a whole Darby show um, where the sisters were cleaning an attic, but it wasn't like a permanent doll room. It was just like something, a set that we put together and then we broke it down. But I don't think I've ever done a video for an attic. So I can totally put that on the to-do list. Can you do a new winter chill doll? What is a winter? Can you get the new winter chill doll? What is the winter chill doll? You're, you're, you're telling me something I don't know. Let me know what it is in the comments and I'll do my best to look it up. So I said, what is your like tips for learning how to do art slash crafting? Take your time. Do it over and over and over and over again like until you get it right literally if you're trying to do something and you can't figure it out do as many times as you need to do until you do it and get it right and be okay with making mistakes um you're gonna make mistakes be okay with that i make mistakes all the time and you can't just be like oh i guess i can't do it because mine never comes out right you just have to keep trying you just gotta keep trying. yeah i would say like the key to learning a new skill or like trying to rekindle something is like if you do something try and be proud of every piece because you're even if like you look back on it you're like oh my god that was crap right but you're gonna be way better because you're gonna like enjoy doing it when i started doing digital art i was terrible when i started <laughs> but i really every piece i did i thought was better than the last one so it's really just uh like having f make sure you have fun because then you're gonna keep doing it exactly I mean, I look at my old videos from like 10 years back and I was like, whoa. And you think like, oh my God, I thought that was so good when I did it. And I, I did. Was like, oh, it was so bad. But you know, I'm not going to delete those videos because that is all progress. It's documenting how far we've got. And so enjoy the journey. I am guilty of deleting old drawings. Yeah. I said, don't do that. I will <laughs> burn sketchbooks. Like, I don't want this in my room. It's awful. <laughs> and then when those Instagram trends come around and it's like, this is me back when and this is me now, you have nothing, have nothing. to show. Just like, saying. I want to go on my Instagram right now and delete, like, first five posts. Just stop. Just delete just, them. Just add more and they'll get buried down at the bottom. I have over 6,000 posts. I have, like, 60. Let me, let me see. What exactly is... I have 6,906 posts on Instagram. I'm not going to go all the way back and scroll and delete the first ones because that would just take too long and I'm too lazy. I think um, I have, like, 60 posts. I have, 40, I have 48 posts. See, you're getting there. All in due time, man. All in due time. Then someone says, can you make a new kitchen? Yes, I totally plan on making a new kitchen. So I have like two more Halloween videos or possibly three, depending if we get that summer in Cali out. But I have like two more Halloween videos that have already been shot. I just did an Among Us costume. We had a lot of requests for an Among Us costume. I didn't play the game until someone asked me to make the costume. And um, I downloaded it, I played, I saw it, got the gist of it. And we did like a Among Us onesie ish costume thing that video is coming out tomorrow and then we have a harry potter video coming out and then hopefully i will get a summer in cali and uh then we're gonna literally just transition right into christmas i mean halloween christmas that's what it's gonna do right into it and i definitely need a kitchen for the holidays plus i bought all of these really really cute little food items off of etsy and i need a kitchen to display them in so i kind of need to build a kitchen now What's going on? You okay? He's just laying on me. Oh, he's probably like trying to eat your legs. To be honest. So, is Bowie trained? To no. some extent, we're working he's on it. He's trained well enough to get to take pictures of him. Yes, he's. So someone did ask, how long did it take for me to get those photos? It was fairly quick. You can put Bowie on there. You say sit and you stay. He'll give you about three seconds, and I was able to get the photos, and he's pretty good. But yeah, that's it. Is YouTube your full time job? It is. My full-time job, not her full-time job because she's a kid and her full-time job is school. Yeah. So get them grades. Ugh. Do you have a husband? I do. He happens to be my editor. Love you. Um, your dog is 85 pounds, Phoebe? 85 pounds? Is it like pounds? one of those like Alaskan Malamutes? I guess that's like this, that's like how much Noah weighs. <laughs> yeah, Noah's 85 pounds. <laughs> wow, that's a giant dog. Awesome. Um, shout out to Lizeth, Lizeth and Sophia. What's up? Can you do more Calico Critters? I can, as soon as I get them. I have some older Calico Critter stuff sitting around. I would love to just show you all that. I can do that if you want. Totally can do that. You want to become a YouTuber? 
all right have at it you know we need more youtubers out there and it's just all about consistency so find something you enjoy because you're gonna be doing it a lot a lot a lot do something you love have fun delete the haters and be consistent that is my advice shout out to cupcake 25 so how do you deal with hate comments delete them just delete them and there are several people and some programs allow you to just um silence them or restrict them so they can keep commenting but nobody else sees what they're commenting that is one of my favorite features i love that why is it so cold get because it airs on and he was going to be wearing clothes and i didn't want him to be cold i mean hot cold. uh get another smart doll i am working on it so i have a list of smart dolls that i want and I am smart dolls cost so much money that I do not like just randomly buy them. I make sure it's the one I want. So as soon as the ones that I want come available, I am going to get them. They're just not available yet. So that's what I'm doing. I hope your surgery goes well. Oh, thank you. I hope it does too. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. But you know, the doctor is supposed to be really, really good. So uh, that's not until December. So we have lots of time. We have lots of time. So what's that? What is the job you want to do before it? Uh, before you, that I wanted to do well I was an accountant I went to school to be an accountant and I was an accountant for six months so that's how that went and then before I even went to school I wanted to be a veterinarian and then I, I interned to be a veterinarian for like the first 10 years of my life <laughs> I interned at a veterinarian hospital for two years and I decided I don't want to be a veterinarian anymore so that's how that went <laughs> veterinarian <laughs> veterinarian I always say it wrong don't I veterinarian veterinarian it's not veterinarian, veterinarian. it's veterinarian. veterinarian sorry do you have glitter girls i don't have glitter girls at this time so i said if you could ever have a different accent what accent would it be i like my voice the way it is accent though an accent i mean let's say i like the oh. way i talk Man, i want a british accent but not just any british accent i want one from like london Right? Like, in the city. See? Yes. You know, I'm not even gonna lie, when I write papers for school, I read them back to myself in a British accent because it makes me feel like you're smarter. <laughs> to all the Americans out there. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, happy birthday, Emily! Happy birthday! We're all literally, like, me drawing something and, like, trying something out. Like, well, yes, the other day, I was trying glazing and I was narrating it to myself and explaining to myself in a British accent at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Like Maybe that's just sleep deprivation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone wants to know the way you did the scrapbook airport. Can you please do a different country's um, scrapbook? Okay, so the problem with that is all of the printables that you see on my blog and all of the printables that we have, I've actually taken those photos. Yeah, so if we wanted to so, do one of like a like a Korean airport you'd have to go to I have airport. to go to get the actual photo because I have to make sure they're original photos so I mean I can look around for other options like maybe calendars or stuff but then it'll be difficult because I can't make it a printable so you would have to find the same calendar or scrap of paper I have or and plus I wouldn't be able to repeat the image because it would just be one picture so I have to do some thinking on that and just give me some time I might have someone draw it for us like what if someone drew us Paris I'm saying I'm just saying it would be cartoonish but you know anime it world. would not be very good I'm not it would be an anime, anime world backgrounds is like no I don't do that will you make another clothes DIY the video coming out tomorrow is a clothes DIY it's an Among Us costume Among Us it is a it's a onesie though it is a onesie I mean so. they're basically just onesies <laughs> um I love have you played Among Us I did. I just said that at the beginning. You of the played game. it. I did. With who? And I got. With no. I got eliminated. You played with no. I just did with. I just played with random people. Oh, it's always more fun when you're playing with someone you can talk to. Well, I just wanted to make sure I knew what I was talking you went about. You to the chat, right? You went to the chat and you were like, "Red is sus, yellow is sus." Yeah, this lady kept saying I was sus, and it wasn't you know me. You know what sus means? Yes, yeah, suspect. I, I know what that means. <laughs> and so she kept saying, "Ooh, light green is sus." I was like, "I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing." She's light green is sus, and then they like voted me into outer space and it wasn't it's me. so tricky among us chat you have to type so fast to like to like and so i'd be like they're like you're sus you're sus i was like what do you mean what do you mean and i'm not a fast typer so i couldn't defend myself you have to use uh, fast enough you just have to use like uh what are they called like wym or i got floated man 
You I were got, the imposter? No. No, they just voted me off the ship and I got- Have you ever been the imposter? No, I only played like twice. I, the and first then, time I was the imposter, I've only played twice too, but I played with my friends. And uh, I was the imposter the first time. That game is so confusing, but I heard it's way better on PC. Well, I got floated the first time and the second time the imposter uh, eliminated me. So that's what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you going to make clothes for Mini Bowie? Ooh, good question. You only have to watch, you only have to play Among Us like two times to get the memes though, which is really great because the memes are <laughs> top tier. I will definitely do my best to make some mini clothes, but you gotta get the give me. You gotta give me a little bit of time for that. Uh, when is the next summer in Cali? When is summer in Cali? I'm gonna try to get it out for Saturday of next week. I'm gonna try. I haven't even written it yet. A little surprise winter chill. Oh, it's a little surprise. I don't have it yet. I have to look into that. Thank you for telling me. Now I have something else to look out for. But I did just spend like a whole bunch of money on Monster High dolls today, man. And I'm saving up for a smart doll. There's only so much money, people. My doll habit is like expensive. <laughs> Who are your favorite Harry Potter characters? Um, Draco Malfoy. My favorite. I love Luna Lovegood. She's definitely one of my favorite. I like Luna Lovegood. And she's in my house, Ravenclaw. So. You're a Hufflepuff. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you were answering the questions for me, and you answered them all wrong. You know, ever, I didn't answer the questions for you. I read you them did. To you. No, she answered it wrong. Um and. My other one, who else do I like? I like the werewolf dude. What was his name? Lupus? Yes. I hope they make a doll of like all the teachers. That would be so cool. Uh, next question. I like Draco and the twins, the Weasley twins. Yes, the Weasleys. Like, I don't understand why Not they haven't made the, the Weasleys, Weasleys yet. The Weasleys. Oh, and the guy who did the dragon, the drag the brother who did the dragons. Where are the twins? We need the twins. I'm just saying. Can you play Roblox? Yes, I am working on a Roblox video. Just give me a little bit of time. I'm definitely going to try to get that out. And... So, so why is Bella so lazy? I don't know. <laughs> wow. That's, that's I don't know, pointed. <laughs> After this, I was playing, I'm playing tennis, to be honest with you. Yeah. Bella's not lazy. It's just this is a comfortable room. Everything's got, like, pillows. You just kind of chill in here. The dog's even starting to calm down, so. Yeah, thankfully. Um, How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Get another smart doll. I'm trying, Who's man. Who's your favorite anime character? This is a good question because she's been watching Attack on Titan, and she's on season three. I repeat, season three, the most so, important season until December 7th. D December 7th is when season four comes out. But disclaimer! No. Disclaimer, Attack on Titan is incredibly violent. It's insanity. It's one of the most violent things I've ever... It's worse than John Wick, okay? But so, it's not worse than John Crazy. No one ever mentions that anime <laughs> but you. <laughs> I love that anime. <laughs> so, but yes, I watch anime. Are you going to do another apartment room? Yes. What's your favorite character? From what? The, uh, uh, Attack on Titan. My favorite, or Mi Mikasa. Or anime character in general. Ugh. Cause you watched Toradora too. I did. Oh, I like Toradora. But my favorite anime character was- and Hayaku. Yeah, it's, they're from Hayaku. Oh really? I love the entire volleyball team of Hayaku. Do you like Yukai, Yukai or Asahi better? Or Yukai or Daichi? Pick between one. I don't pick. You need the whole you team. You have to pick one. Mom. Karasuno all day, baby. Oh, <laughs> have you ever heard of Cookie Swirl C? Yes, I absolutely love Cookie Swirl C. Met her a couple times. She's super, super sweet. I do have her doll, and I didn't open it, and because I figured I needed to hang on to it and collect it, and I never ever not open things. But it was just such. It was just amazing to see her in doll form, so I didn't open it, and I'm keeping the box in pristine mint condition. So I said, do you stand Blackpink? I'm not a blink. I don't really stand Blackpink. I don't really stand anybody other than like uh, BTS and like 17 and not NCT. I like NCT. No, yeah. But I do listen to Blackpink. I have their songs are on my mass K-pop playlist of like a hundred something songs. Yeah, I do listen to it. They have some, they have some bangers. I think every comeback has bangers to us. Yeah. My own, the only K-pop group I I listen to is BTS, and I don't. And whatever I should have, because yeah. you listen to I have newest on my playlist. There are some newest. that I literally just be like, turn Twice, it, turn it off. Girl. No, I don't like any. Seventeen. I'm not. A, I no. bet you like Seventeen. No. Trauma. No. Rocket. They're no. all like amazing. No, no. Whatever. She hijacks my phone and my playlist and puts stuff on there, and then I'd be listening to my music and jamming and be like, what is this? And then I gotta skip. Your dog weighs a hundred and twenty-one pounds. That might be a cap. 
<laughs> wow. Uh, when is surgery? Surgery is in the, the first week of the second, beginning of the second week of December. So, is it, so what's some slang that you think that each other doesn't know, don't know? Some slang that you don't know? From like, I guess what, 80s slang? <laughs> I love the stabs. I, it was I love, stab. I I love all said, the shade. I could have said 1880s slang. I could have said that, but I didn't. Uh, well, I didn't really talk slang growing up. We weren't allowed. But um, you was around, I was around you. you I didn't was. pick up on it. You didn't code switch. You didn't like, yeah, you could like normal. I, ne I didn't cool. talk slang because it didn't sound right on me. My brothers did it. Like did my brother. Know, did you know words then? Yeah, well, like cronk, you know, That's like. What's up, shorty, shorty? King cronk up in the house. Mom, if you're watching, that's for you, baby. That's my brother. Um, but that's pretty much it. Real, that's it. You only know Crunk and Shawty. Shawty, what your name is? Uh, <laughs> I really blocked all that out of my memory. To be honest, the picture <laughs> was just high school is just blah. yeah, so much. But I probably know every all the words. The yeah, you know, Especially Shawty. Since TikTok is like just every just so much. <laughs> <laughs> are you ever good dude i am going to do a makeover a dollhouse yes i'm just actually been remaking a lot of my dollhouses over and so i'm starting to run out happy birthday is that heaven heaven or haven I, I, it went by too fast if you could rename yourself what would you rename yourself uh my name kind of works for my job you know the toy up with the toy in it i play with toys my name works what about Stop you! If I could rename myself, well, I made a list. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> if I, I made could a list. Rename myself. Um, While she's thinking of that, someone says, "Actually, Do we I can't rename myself. I just when I'm older, I might go by Isabel." Okay, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, if someone says, "Do you have merch?" Believe it or not, we are working on a shop. We are very slowly working on a shop. Yeah, I had I, a lot of things to do. I had to get a new 3D printer um, because I just needed it, I needed a bigger one. And so I'm um, having to learn that right now. I'm struggling, but I'm doing the best. So our shop is pretty much going to be some 3D prints. Uh, we're thinking about stickers and possible t-shirts. So that is something that we need to get done. We already have oh, the and website. 3D prints. I said that. 3D prints, stickers, oh. and t-shirts. But we're going to start small really really small it's pretty much like an etsy shop with like one or two items at a time and as we get them made we'll um post more what surgery i'm having surgery but i'm not gonna say what it is it's not elective i can tell you that but yeah it's personal man it's not like it's not like <laughs> it's a, a very normal surgery it's a normal surgery for it's, women my she's age not getting like an arm removed <laughs> or it's need not like, those it's not brain surgery or anything no it's just a you it's know nothing great and anatomy worthy as long as everything goes according to plan, we'll yeah. be good. Oh, then you have another story. Shout out to Elijah C twenty four two twenty two four seven. What's up? I'm sorry, I totally well, you do a recovery butchered that. Video. Do a recovery video? No, you're not you gonna, gonna go, see me gonna without go your, makeup on. You're not gonna go on your story and do you like? I guess you can do that. Look, you will see me again when I can put on full face makeup. That's what's happening there. <laughs> the Briar Saddle. Ugh. like make a briar saddle i am trying i am i want to make it easy i want to make it easy but i want it to still look good so you just gotta give me a little more time to figure that one out okay i think we have ran completely over on time but we chew on things and how do you want to decorate or how are you trying to de decorate your house i want my house to be light airy and blue it's like pretty much blue and gray and stuff like that just comfortable i don't know if i have an actual style it's just comfort um yeah pretty much style comfort. i want like my ideal like ideal living area i mean my house is great like this house is fantastic but like if i was to like move out when older right i would love to like hardwood floors dark hardwood floors like black hardwood floors white walls like a sleek kitchen it doesn't have to be that big either it can literally be like one room i have studio apartment but and then i have the bed on the floor and then like desk and whatever it'd be very very like korean room okay that sounds very neat clean clean my room was decent. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. And here's a shout out to Michaela and Nicole. What's up? Okay, so we are totally over on time. What are my favorite videos to make? I love doing rooms. Can you please put that down? It messed up the white balance. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, okay. I love doing rooms, that is my favorite thing to do, but right now we need to go ahead and do shout outs. Make a mini Bella room. We did! So in our 2020 school supplies you do see a corner of Bella's room. I do have plans to extend it to make her whole room the way she it will look eventually because I made the bed bigger in the mini one than she has real life because she's picking out a new bed but you know we'll get to that later. But yes I can totally add on to it and uh get to that as soon as I can. Last question Bakugo or Todoroki? Todoroki every day. I really don't like Bakugo. Bakugo is spiky hair. Yeah. Todoroki is fire and ice. Yeah. Okay, Todoroki. Even though I haven't Todo Todo. He doesn't Todoroki. really even say anything. Todoroki. Todoroki. Uh, whatever she said. Yeah, the fire and ice dude, even though so far where I am in my academia, he, doesn't even he hasn't really said say anything. anything until second season. <laughs> <laughs> but Bakugo is so annoying. He has like the anchor shoes aren't cute, man. It's not cute. It's, <laughs> it's annoying. Shout out to let's do this. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do shout outs. Okay, here we go. I'm so unprepared. Brooke Gibson. What's up? Shout out to LGHS Barbies. What's up? The Crystal Puppy. What's up? I'm Lean <laughs> DIYs. What's up? Uh, I am you, Janae. What's up? Crafty Cat 22. What's up? Oh I just realized I am you. It's called that because I envy you, as an envy. I envy you. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm slow, man. I'm slow. <laughs> and sim stands for simulation. Yes, I knew that one. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> um, next one is... Wait, so it's called The Sims. So it's The Simulation. Shout out to You So Unique Loves Dolls. What's up? Jamie Bloom. What's up? Annabelle. What's up? Nicole. What's up? Alexander Spear, what's up? Shout out to Micah Piper, what's up? Annie, what's up? Panda, what's up? Um, odd, odd Lynn, odd dinner. I Piper, what's up? <laughs> I can't read. Uh, shout out to Fifi, what's up? Uh, Ashley, Ashley Mora, what's up? Shout out to, I'm just going to spell it, O-D-Y-L-A-N-84. What's up? Jennifer, you say Jennifer P. Already? I don't think so. What's, Jennifer P. What's up? Isabella, what's up? Hey, I said that one already. Um, doll tube, what's up? And Elizabeth, what's up? Awesome vids, what's up? Maylee, what's up? And two more, two more. Phenomenally me, what's up? And Addy and Coco Bear. What's up? Thank you all so much for joining us on YouTube Live with Toya, Bella, and Bowie. While well, Bowie tried on some new outfits, I think this is definitely a winner. Let well, us this know. This the winner, to be honest with you. Let us know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Is it the stripes that or he's is wearing? The skulls. Or is it the cat onesie? Thank you all for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And check me out on HBO Max for the Halloween episodes of Craftopia. But we can be found on the frog vlog. And uh, yeah, we love He's you all. Basically owns that now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we love you all. We'll see you next week.